हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टडी अबाउट वन मोर फॉर्म ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर नोन एज इलर्स फॉर्म वी नो दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एज ए प्लस आई बी वेयर ए इज कॉल्ड द रियल पार्ट एंड बी इज कॉल्ड द इमेजिनरी पार्ट वन मोर मेथड टू रिप्रेजेंट द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज द पोलर फॉर्म वेयर इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू कैन बी डिटरमाइंड फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एज अंडर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर एंड हियर वी कैन फाइंड द आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑल्सो थीटा टेन इन वर्स ऑफ बी अपॉन ए सो इफ वी नो द absolute value of complex number mod mod of complex number modulus of a complex number and the argument theta we can represent it in the polar form z is equal to mod of z cos theta plus mod of z it is i times mod of z sin theta this is known as the polar form of a complex number you can take out the mod of z outside and you can write cos theta plus i sin theta where theta is the argument this angle can be represented on the argon plane or the complex number can be represented in the argon plane like this this is the real axis this is the imaginary axis this is the z and this is the angle theta now this form can be represented as e raised to the power i theta this is known as the ehlers formula thus the same complex number can be represented as its mod value modulus value e raised to the power i theta this is known as ehlers form of a complex number representing a complex number in the euler form have the wide application especially in multiplication and division of a complex number for example if we want to multiply the two complex numbers z1 is equal to mod of z1 e raised to the power i theta 1 and z2 is equal to mod of z2 e raised to the power i theta 2 where z1 is the modulus of this complex number and theta 1 is respect to argument then z1 multiplied by z2 can be just directly solved as z1 that is modulus of the first complex number multiplied by modulus of second complex number e raised to the power i theta 1 we can write separately like this e raised to the power i theta 1 into z2 e raised to the power i theta 2 solving further z1 into z2 is z1 into z2 e raised to the power i theta 1 plus theta 2 so when we are taking the product of two complex number there absolute values or their modulus are multiplied that means mod of z1 into z2 is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 but the argument of z1 into z2 will be equal to theta1 plus theta2 which is equal to sum of the angles arguments of the individual complex number so this result is derived 
from the Euler's form of a complex number. Similarly, we can generate the result for the division of a complex number. Here we will get the argument will be equal to theta 1 minus theta 2. If I represent the same complex number in the Euler's form. Now what is De Morvis theorem? De Morvis theorems tells us about the power of a complex number, integer power of a complex number. For example, according to Euler's formula, if Z1 is represented as mod of Z1 e raised to the power i theta 1, where this is the absolute value or the modulus value of the given complex number and theta 1 is the argument of the given complex number. If you want to find this Z1 power n, so it can be represented as mod of Z1 e raised to the power i theta 1 raised to the power n. It can be solved further as mod of Z1 raised to the power n e raised to the power i theta raised to the power n. So it is Z1 raised to the power n and e raised to the power i theta n. We have used the identity a power b raised to the power c is a power b into c or we can write it as n theta i n theta n times theta so z1 raised to the power n can be represented as mod of z1 raised to the power n e raised to the power it can be written in the polar form cos n theta plus i sin n theta because according to Euler's form e raised to the power i theta is written as cos theta plus i times sin theta so using this logic theta is replaced with n theta now this is known as the de Morvis theorem so there are wide application of de Morvis theorem especially to find for example if you want to find sine of 4 theta or sine of cos of 4 theta or sine of 6 theta so such multiple trigonometric ratios of multiple angles can be represented with the de morvis theorem thank you students